How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome to another Stream Elements tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the Hype Cup. Now, what you're going to want to do is go over to your Overlay Editor, click on the plus, and we're going to go to Alerts and click on Hype Cup. Then I'm going to load this guy right here. And what the Hype Cup basically is, is it's going to allow you to fill up either the cup, or in this case, the bag, with different types of icons. So on the left hand side, you have it where it will allow you to get those icons to fall in if you get a follower, sub, tip, cheer, host, raid, whatever. Now you can go and change those. So if you click on the gear, it allows you to you know change the alert message. You can also change the variation. So right now it's set for default follower. In here, you can then change the image. You can give an alert message. You can change the variation name. You can also have it set for certain conditions. So for the condition, it can either be set for exact or it can set for at least. And for this one, it's going to be the amount that's going to trigger the um, hype cup for it to fall in. So in this case, we have it set for at least and then one amount. So that means it's going to have at least one follower to make it actually work. Now for body type, body weight, don't worry about it. Token size, you can increase the token size if you want to. And then the body bounds, you don't have to worry about that either. Now for advanced, if you're wanting to have weight reduction, this basically will allow it to have heavier items push lighter items, and that's probably where the body weight is going to really matter if you're actually caring about that so much. But you don't have to worry about this. Just having it to where you have the image that you want it to be by uploading a certain image and then having it set for whatever condition you want, or you can leave it as its default condition, that's perfectly fine too. Uh, but if you want to change any of that stuff, it's right here. So once that's fine, you changed everything, you're good to go. Then you can go ahead and go back. And select whichever other ones you want to have and adjust them however you need to. Once you have that, then you can then go over to where you can change the cup. So if we change the cup here, you have different options. And you can also edit the cup too. So let's say, for example, we wanted to just use this cup. So now that is a much easier cup to deal with. And if I wanted to edit that cup, I can even add in my own image. I can add a background to it. And then if I decided to do something like that, then we can go down a little bit further and we have it to where we can adjust the scale. If we need it to be bigger, we can also mess with the opacity and we can make it more see-through. So that's also really cool. So if you do have your own background image or if you have your own image you want to use, you could do that. You can also move it along the way by messing with the cup positions. Now, the only thing that I will suggest is make sure that the bottom of the cup, this area right here is still visible. And I'll show you guys why in just a moment. So once you have that set up, you can then go down here where it shows the event message. And I'll show you why I hate the event message being shown. So we're going to have that one checked. You can have it to where it uses the entire screen of the cup. And then you can also have it where it shows the wireframe. So this is going to be the wireframe. It's ugly looking. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and then if you use the entire screen for the cup, it's going to do something like that. So we're just going to leave it like that. Now the duration, this is going to be for the time that it takes for the text to slide over. So right now it's set for eight. You can also have a token bounce. So this is how bouncy things are going to be. And then your recent events, it's defaulted at 20. So recent events is like your followers, subs, tips, cheers, and so on and so forth. So once you have all that set up, we're going to go ahead and hit save. And I'm going to mute it. And we're going to emulate so you can see what it's like. So we get a follower coming through. This is why I cannot stand the text. It's just a personal thing I don't like because it takes forever to drop that little guy. And then this thing just keeps going all the way across the screen. It's super, super annoying. So I don't like having that there. Um, so I get rid of that all the time. Now, you did kind of see that that was a little small, right? Again, you can go in here into your followers. And you can make this bad boy so much bigger. So let's go ahead and do that. Save it. Followers. And now that bad boy is nice and big, so everybody can read it and see it. Now, if for some reason you're wanting to clear the cup, right here where it says cup actions, you have where it says reload cup and clear cup. So we're going to clear the cup and bam, it's gone. 
So let's go ahead and add this into Streamlabs. So now that we have everything saved, we'll save it one more time. We're going to click on the little overlay link here, and that's going to copy it to our clipboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on plus, and we're going to go to browser source. Don't worry about the name. We're going to control V as in Victor to paste it in, and we're going to set it up for the canvas size, so 1920 by 1080. And then, bam, there is our cup. So the cup's kind of in a weird spot, so we're just going to drag it over, click away. And you unfortunately cannot emulate this stuff in here unless you go back into the editor. So we're going to go to the editor. We're going to click on the follower. And there you go. And you can see this right there. Now, it took me a little while to get over there because, you know, it's not very long before it drops. But that is pretty much how it is. And then if you need to clear it, you can definitely do that again in the editor here. So we can click on clear cup and the cup is clear. But yeah, that is how you set up the hype cup. If you guys have any other questions about it, let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel and you're wanting to learn more about the tech side of streaming, be sure to go ahead and see some of the other content that I have on the channel. Don't forget to check out some of these videos here and you guys can always reach out to me in the comments. You can talk to me on Discord, my social medias, or whenever I'm streaming. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.